Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Upstate Speed Tests. We're on the east side of Binghamton, right near Interstate 81. And uh, so a couple interesting things going on here. The uh, cell tower up here, one of the only ones in the Binghamton area, uh, one of two towers in the Binghamton area that has C-band. And of course it's not gonna focus because, ah, uh, there it goes. Uh, one of the two sites in the Binghamton area that has C-band on it and live. There are many, many towers now that have the equipment but are not on. So uh, one interesting thing I noticed is this site is now broadcasting 100 megahertz of spectrum, at least, maybe more. I, uh, you know, I can't uh, really see all the details that easily, but uh, let me show you guys real quick here. So we'll switch it to the Verizon information, connection status. Ah, of course, now it's going to show uh, 10 megahertz of N5. Uh, but earlier, there it goes. Okay, so 100 megahertz of N77. And one other thing I've noticed, uh, sorry if the lighting's kind of crappy. Let me, let me clean my lens real quick here. <clears throat> okay, anyway, one other thing I've noticed is that the site seems to have increased the power level on C-band, uh, perhaps now that they've cleared up issues with the FAA. Uh, but anyway, the, the N77 is stretching much further than it used to, deeper into these east side neighborhoods. So uh, I don't know why, but the, the UW icon just disappeared. Happens a lot. But anyway, without further ado, let's run a speed test. All right, so running a speed test here, the ultra wide band indicator just came back, cool. Let's see if it makes a difference speed wise. Uh, the speeds don't seem to be that much faster than they were before, perhaps related to uh, backhaul not being upgraded at the site, but the site's brand new, so you know I don't know what they're doing, what they're using for backhaul. But geez, look at that upload. That's crazy. I'll also run this test on my iPad Pro. Uh, I'm not going to run T-Mobile. T-Mobile's kind of trash over here, unless you're deeper into the east side. And AT&T, I just recently did a video, so you know scroll back on the channel if you want to see what AT&T does in this neighborhood. Uh, let's run this one more time, and then, like I said, I'll show you guys the results on the iPad, but, uh, you know, impressive. We have 100 megahertz of N77 live now. Uh, in record time, it was not supposed to be widened until December, and I know on Reddit and other uh, speed test channels have noticed that their markets are getting 100 megahertz as well. Um, in my market, I just really wish that Verizon would get these sites turned on faster. This site we're connected to has been up for about a year now and the C-band equipment only went live like one or two months ago. So, you know, almost a year for this site to get turned on for C-band. And I know others have said that they have to wait for FAA approval to turn some of these sites on, which I just think is completely ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't, for whatever reason, the iPhone uh, doesn't seem to connect well to this site in terms of speed, but I'll show you guys on the iPad and we'll see if it makes a difference. I know in the past on the iPad I was able to pull, uh, I think it was close to 500 down, just being that the iPad's bigger and has a, what I assume would be a bigger antenna system, so maybe it'll make a big difference. I don't know. We'll see in a minute here. So yeah, 289 down. We saw it peak up over 300. Uh, at my work, I was able to get 400 through a window, so I, you know, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe the, uh, maybe it's just because of the angle of the equipment up there. Um, if you notice, the panel isn't pointed directly at us, but, uh, all right, let me switch over to the iPad and we'll see what we can get on there. All right, we're over on the iPad, and before you say anything, yes, I know the screen is filthy. Nothing I can do. Anyway, again... I don't know if this is a iOS issue or just a power saving method, but 5G UW icon uh, refusing to come up right there, but it probably will when we start the test, just like on the iPhone. 
Yep, there it goes. Over to 5G UW. Um, looks like we're actually going to be pulling somewhat similar results to the iPhone. 350. So 353 down. The upload's going to be even more impressive than the iPhone. Maybe I should start a, a speed test channel dedicated to speed testing only on iPads. But geez, look at that. 143 on the up. That at least... That might even beat the best upload speeds I've gotten on the on T-Mobile on the iPhone. Um, 353 down, 143 up. The loaded ping times look great on this test. Uh, jitter three milliseconds. So let's run it one more time. Yeah, I think on T-Mobile, the best uploads I've gotten were like in the 130s, uh, if I can remember. I don't know, feel free to go back and watch some of my other videos. I'm sure you, I'm sure they're in there, but uh, yeah, for whatever reason, the download at this particular spot just doesn't want to, just doesn't want to go any higher. I don't know if it's, it could be load, it could be backhaul. <clears throat> it, like I said earlier, it could be the position of the panels. Let's try the uh, fast.com test. And see what we get over there. Yeah, so the fast.com test is pulling some nice speeds. I mean, look at that. 500 down. I mean, this is more of what I would expect out of 100 megahertz of backhaul uh, of spectrum. So 490, 500. It's, it's bouncing around quite a bit. Show more info. 46 millisecond unloaded 122 on the loaded ping and again the upload looks like it's going to be over 100 minimum here so you know verizon's ultra wideband i think is going to be the network to beat eventually it's just taking time to get there um, yeah so there you go 500 down great ping times great upload uh just a matter of you know just a matter of Verizon getting more sites online in my area. Um, you know, they've got they've got a lot of the infrastructure out there already. It's just taking a while to turn on. So uh, make sure you guys uh, help out the channel by giving it a thumbs up. Even bigger help, hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you in another video.